Welcome back to this lip color doll. I know it's been like <laughs> like a century since the last time you saw me. Um, and my apologies. A lot has happened since since what March, March, February, March. Ooh, that's a long time. That's like uh, that's a long time. My bad. Just a quick, 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 quick update. Um, I had been working. Um, I was uh, starring in my very first off-Broadway show called Bella, Bella and American Tall Tale. So I was, I was, your homegirl, your homegirl was busy. She was working and um, the show was a lot of fun. It was written by Kirsten Childs and directed by Robert O'Hara and choreographed by Camille A. Brown and Brown's, her last name is not plural, Camille A. Brown. I'm sorry. My bad, Camille. And it was such a fun show and an amazing important show about people of color in the wild wild west back in you know the 1870s um and a whole lot of black girl magic it was just it was wonderful i'll put i'll put a link to the uh trailer that they did um it was at playwrights horizons here in new york and um so yeah i was just busy and the show is just very demanding on uh, that particular role and so i would <laughs> come home and just be way too exhausted and I had one day off a week and um, I didn't want to do much talking since I talked and sang the entire show pretty much so I took a little time off and then a whole bunch of nonsense in the world was happening and I didn't feel comfortable posting um, videos about makeup you know um, and even now it's kind of like all oh, this craziness is happening in the world and you know, I know probably the last thing people want to see is a video about, you know, favorite makeup trends and lipstick colors and, and, and whatnot. But um, this is a form of self-care for me. So I pulled myself out of that little funk and decided, you know what, I need to come back to my people. I wasn't going to leave you guys forever. I just, I just needed some inspiration. I needed some time to you know, think about life and uh, get things going and in motion. And so that's why I took a little time off. But I'm here and I'm back and I'm ready to play. But anyway, um, today, because this is this lip color though, I want to do a swatch video of my homegirl, Kat Von D stuff. Hey! I realize I have not made a video with Kat Von D lip colors. Um, and I only have four because you know, it's a little more expensive side. And I pay for these myself. I don't have no ins and dealings with any of these companies. I pay for everything myself. So, yeah, I only got four. And that's going to be that for a while. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to support a sister and let, you know, get some coins from y'all so that I can make some more of these. I'm good with that. But for now, we gonna, we're just going to do this little cute four, and it's going to be great. <laughs> um, if you have not heard of Kat Von D, I don't know what's wrong with you. You need to get your life because um, she's a beast. Um, she's not only a beast in, in makeup, but she's a, a tattoo artist. And um, she used to have that, that show, that um, Tattoo Ink show. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Um, I think it was on VH1, and I used to watch it all the time. And then when she came out with makeup, I was like, oh, bet. Um... But uh, she has these everlasting liquid lipsticks. And you know I love liquid lipsticks. Those are like my number one favorite ones. Um, I love her other products too. One of my favorite things about Kat Von D is actually this Locket Foundation. Sorry, it looks really, really gross. It looks really, really gross because I use it all day, every day. This is my second bottle. And this is a pretty big, this is one fluid ounce. Yeah, this is a pretty big bottle. And um, yeah, this is everything. It... <sighs> It just gets your entire life, <laughs> like your entire life. Um, it is a matte foundation and it dries so that it's, um, it's not 100% non-transferable, but it's pretty close. Um, after you set it in everything with, you know, my trusty setter, which I use blue marble. 
which is the set of life um, it doesn't come off like I used this while I was doing the show and the show was about two and a half hours long I was on stage for about two hours and 20 minutes and it's just sweating sweating up a storm because I am a sweater and uh, yeah because I'd be working hard and um, I used Kat Von D and I set it with the blue marble and I would be dabbing my face all throughout the entire show with a white handkerchief and you could barely see if anything on the handkerchief so everybody was just like what foundation do you use and I'm like y'all I need to get on that Kat Von D like a foundation because that's the bomb and it will save your life save your life but we're not here to talk about the foundation we're here to talk about these four lovely lippies yeah. so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just just swatch them because I feel like that's really all you want to see um, I'm gonna go from lightest to dark as always and then we'll talk about it a little bit okay but I'm gonna take this off this is cheat code um, gloss from uh, Colourpop which I have some more Colourpop as well but that'll be a different video because you know I love me some color pop and I run I lost count with how many I have now girl whatever Lolita wants Lolita gets a little man, Lolita wants you. No, she doesn't. She actually wants more lip colors. <laughs> also, I know there's like a million versions of this. Um, like they, they change the um, the formula. I think this. I mean, like this is this is a couple years old. Um, and I bought this maybe two years ago. I think about two years ago. Two years? Yeah, about two years. <laughs> Was that as annoying as it felt? Yeah. Yeah, I think I bought this about two years ago, and this is Lolita. Um, and I, I don't remember if this is the original batch or if this was like the new batch that came out. I don't really remember why there was a new batch to begin with, but je ne sais pas. <laughs> you ain't asked me French. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this is like their, the famous red outlaw, um, and uh, I gotta be honest, I actually have mixed feelings about this, which I don't know, it's really weird considering it's me because, you know, I love red lips and, you know, I love like a deep, rich, like, oof, a yummy, velvety red lip, right? And when I saw this color on everybody else... It looked like that type of red and I was just like oh I need to get it and I like how bright it is yes but I wish it stayed the color that it is when you first put it on before it completely dried down and I don't know if you'd be able to I can't really be able to tell um, through this because through here it looks like a yummy just a yummy red blue, bluish red right but like in real life there's like this 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 golden sheen over it once it dries down it has this golden sheen that kind of turns it a little orangey and um, you know I am very neutral olive toned so the oranges don't really work well like I can't do a fire engine red or orangey red it just doesn't work well in my skin tone I don't I don't think um, so blue red is where I stay and so I kind of felt like, mm, you guys kind of lied to me, saying that it's a blue red. And it is a blue red, but before it dries, and then when it dries, it's not a blue red anymore, at least on me. And I don't know if it's like my lips or anything. I'm gonna stop talking like that because it's very annoying. Um, but I don't know if it's like it's something to do with my own lips or I don't know. But when it, you know, what's the word, oxidizes, it just, it's not as, as deep as I want it to be get your mind out the gutter but it's still a very pretty red and I think I will obviously wear I mean this was $20 I'm gonna wear it um, but I have to just be conscious of what 
my makeup situation, my face makeup is for that day in order to be able to pull off this look. We're gonna move on. Now see, y'all see how yummy this looks right now? And this is not fully dried down yet. But this is Nosferatu. And oh, oh, it drew my lips. <laughs> look at it, look. What is the shape like? <laughs> what is the shape that I gave myself? Same thing happens with this one as it does with um, the other red uh, outlaw. It starts out as this like really beautiful beautiful dark rich color and then it dries down you can kind of see it more with Nosferatu can you see that can you see that but it's like yeah it's like a little like golden sheen and I'm like oh, I don't want the golden sheen I don't want it but it gave me the golden sheen ah oh, come on digress now this is echo I'm in love with this color I'm in love with it like I'm in love with it but y'all already know I love like blues and, and purples and all that kind of stuff so um but yeah, this actually, this color I was turned on to by my girl Tati, Santiana Lofton. <laughs> um, she's all about Mama Cat, so thanks Tati for putting me on to this color. Um, I love it. I really do. I really, ugh. I mean, look at it. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so that's all the the Kat Von D liquid lips that I own. Um, I am looking forward to getting more and purchasing more. Like I said, it's a liquid lipstick. It's drying. It's one of those non-transferables. Nothing. It's not my favorite formula as far as how it feels on the lips um, because I can definitely feel that it's there. But it doesn't really bother me. But I know that I'm wearing a liquid lipstick, so I'm just like, well, you're you have paint. It's like paint on your lips, um, but it's not super thick, so I don't mind it as much. Cruelty free, of course, and she's all about cruelty free, and um, I really, she's like hardcore about that, so I truly, truly respect her. I think it was another company, is it, is it NARS? Is it NARS? I don't want to say it's NARS, it's not, I can't remember the company, but um, it was a well-known company like that, that decided to, to go through China to do some of their production and um, there they test on animals and um, she wrote a letter and and posted it and let everybody know that you know that just wasn't okay because you know you've been a cruelty free company for however many years you're super successful there's no need for y'all to go over there and and start testing on animals and they were like well we're not the ones testing on animals you know China's policy but it's your company that you're going through China, therefore you're saying, okay, it's your policy, so I, policy, so I guess it's okay for you to test on animals. It doesn't work like that. But anyway, all that to say, um, she downs for the cause, and uh, I really respect her as just an artist and, and a woman, and she is on her hustle and on her grind, and I, I think she's incredible, and I think what she's done created an empire, and it's kind of dope. I forgot to do the smell test, you guys. It kind of reminds me... It's not a very strong scent, but it kind of reminds me, like, a little bit of MAC. You know how MAC has that, like, specific smell? I can't even describe it, but it kind of has, a, like, a sweet clay smell. Something like that. Um, but yeah, so these are these are all the Kat Von D colors that I own. I own Lolita, 
uh, Outlaw, Nosferatu, and Echo. Like I said, I look forward to purchasing more colors. Uh, I have a little bit of a list going on from when I can afford it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking with me in my hiatus. I am not going anywhere, I promise. Um, but self-care is important and people get busy sometimes and I think that's okay. But I thank you for sticking with me and believing in me and encouraging me and I look forward to bringing you more content to this channel. Uh, makeup Musicals is still on. No worries. If you have not seen my first Makeup Musical, uh, I will link it somewhere or put it at the end of the video. You'll, you'll find it. There will be somewhere where you can click on it. It's a, a Hamilton parody. Um, what else? Oh, make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up this video, subscribe, check out my other videos on this channel. Tell your friends, bring your girlfriends over, be like, hey, look at this girl, come on, lip colored all, whatever. Mm, I think that's it. Yeah, mama's back. Mama's back, y'all. I'll see you next time on this lip colored all. Yeah.